Hey guys and welcome back to the Coach's Legacy channel. In today's video, I'll be showing you how to open up your ports in Oracle Cloud for the Ubuntu Virtual Machine. And the reason why I say Ubuntu Virtual Machine in particular is because there can be differences on how you open the ports based on the operating system that you've installed, okay? And I'm referring to this one, by the way. In this video, I'm gonna be showing you how to do this on Ubuntu. If you have something else like Oracle Cloud, then this video might or might not work for you, but don't worry, I'll make another video on Oracle Cloud right after this one. So you can go check that out. It'll be linked down in the description below. Okay, so for those of you with Ubuntu, let's continue. So I'm just gonna create this VM right quick. I just wanted to show you the configuration right here that I had before creating this VM. Make sure you download your keys, then create your VM, and then we'll go ahead and open up the ports in this VM. All right, so our virtual machine is now created. Let's continue. So over here, we're gonna open up the virtual cloud network, which is where we control the network settings of our virtual machine. We'll go to our subnets. Then we're going to add, uh, sorry, we'll go to our security lists first. Then we're going to go to our ingress rules. Let me just explain this briefly for those of you who don't know. The ingress rules are the incoming traffic rules and the egress rules over here are the outgoing traffic rules. So in the ingress, let me explain these columns. So we have the source and the source, when we're talking about incoming traffic, the source traffic is the other machines, okay? And the destination is our virtual machine, okay? So what the source over here means, 0.0.0/0, it's basically the equivalent to an asterisk. It means any IP can send traffic to our machine on this port and any source IP, sorry, any source port can send traffic. So um, we can receive traffic on port 22 from any IP from any port, okay? That's what this means. And um, then we have the ICMP protocol over here as well. And let me show you something interesting. There's two ports that we're gonna open up in this video, the ICMP port and the HTTP port, port 80. Okay, so let me show you something. I wanna like ping our machine, for example. I wanna do a ping test. And let me show you what happens if we currently try to do this. It's not gonna work, spoiler. All right, see it's not returning anything. Request timed out, that's pretty much it. So let's just cancel that. And let me show you how to fix this. Like you can see that the ICMP protocol is allowed over here from any IP, but there's only a specific, by default, there's only a specific type of ICMP protocol allowed, which the ping does not fall under. So just remove this so that it defaults to all and save changes, come back over here. And now we can ping our machine. So this is the first example of how we just set up a port how we just opened up a port, okay, for pinging. Now let's go for something more complicated, HTTP port. This is a slightly more complicated because Oracle Cloud makes things kind of extra complicated. I don't know why. It's much easier to do this in like Azure or AWS, but um, let me show you how to do it in, in, you know, Oracle. So let's say we want to set up an HTTP server. That's what I'll show you in today's video. I'll show I'll set up an HTTP server, then we'll access that server. Okay, so go into add ingress rules. Then over here, we'll do 0.0.0 .0, uh, .0 slash zero. And then TCP protocol, source port range can be anything. Destination port is gonna be port 80 because that's where HTTP operates. Okay, that's it. We can add the rule. And there we go. Now, normally this would mean that uh, we can access this port, um, but that's actually not the case. It's not gonna work. Let me show you how. You can use any, you can use pretty much anything to test whether this port is open or not. You can use online tools called port scanners or port checkers. You can use Telnet. Um, and then there's lin tools in Linux like Nmap and Netstat. Uh, Windows has this one tool let me see if I can, yeah, here it is. Uh, we just need to paste the IP in here. Um, and we can test whether this port is open or not. Okay. And this is not gonna work because I know, I know the port isn't gonna work right now. 
see it's just taking too long that pretty much tells you that it's not working so yeah it didn't work okay so let's go and figure out why it's not working well what we're gonna do is actually SSH into this machine first okay write SSH dash I then the path to your key then the username and you can see the username from here okay and the IP from here just SSH into your machine See, the first thing that we'll do is actually install a HTTP server a simple HTTP server apt install nginx okay so this is going to set up an HTTP server a very simple one and now if I try to access our IP from the HTTP protocol let's just let's just let this finish okay it's finished so I'm going to try and access our IP over here HTTP and our IP it's not going to work okay this is the second way we've tested that the, this port is not working we we used the test connection thing in Windows and then we tried this it's not working okay so what I'm gonna do is go back into our VM then there's this command we need to run okay this changes the IP tables which is basically where these firewall rules are defined there we go okay and by the way um, if you want to want to open up any future ports in this manner uh, you can change the protocol from here and you can change the port over here so if you want to enable HTTPS for example you can do 443 over here okay so anyways now that, that that's done let's try to access our machine again from HTTP and there we go this is the NGX uh, default home page that gets shown um, from our server so it's working. We just set up uh, a HTTP server and op also opened up our HTTP port. Okay, I hope you guys found this video interesting and useful. And by the way, just to let you know that this may not work for some of you. Like I've heard uh, there are a lot of complaints about Oracle and its port opening system. Like um, there are like dozens of different solutions out there. So what I'm going to do uh, for you guys this is the, like the general solution, but if it doesn't work out, I'm going to leave a link in the description below to my website where I'm going to list down all of these different solutions. So if it doesn't work out for some of you guys, you can go try out those alternate solutions. But I will mention one solution in particular that I saw that came up quite a bit. Okay, I'm going to mention that right now um, so you guys can try that out. It's these three commands that we need to run. Okay, we need to install this firewall. Uh, then we need to run this command over here that enables this port and then we need to reload the firewall okay so these three commands is what you can try next if the solution i showed you in this video does not work okay so yeah this is the end of this video hope you guys enjoyed it